Well, members of uh, political parties have gathered in Santon, Johannesburg, to discuss the formation of coalition governments in the country's hung councils. The DA, IFP, UDM, Action SA, Freedom Front Plus, COPE, ACDP and the Patriotic Alliance are the parties in attendance as coalitions are yet to be formed in Gauteng's three metros. The results of the 2021 local government elections were announced two weeks ago and parties have approximately one week left to form councils. In a race against time, as the deadline looms closer for the formation of coalitions in the 70 hung councils, some political parties have gathered in Santon for covert discussions on the leadership of the country's municipalities. This at the behest of the Freedom Front Plus. In an email invite uh, sent by the Freedom Front Plus Chief Whip, Cornelius Mulder, he highlighted the urgent need to form stable majority governments, particularly in the city of Johannesburg and Swane. The DA's John Stianazen, the UDM's General Bantu Holomisa, Action SA's Herman Mashaba and the ACDP's Reverend Kenneth Mishwe and Patriotic Alliance's Gaten McKenzie are some of the representatives that will form part of that meeting. SABC earlier spotted Stianhazen, Helen Zilla, Mashaba, Mackenzie, Holomisa and Mishwe entering the Santon Hotel. They would not entertain any questions from the media, but the DA has already indicated that it will host a media briefing to give an update on the discussions. All right, let's get more now. We're joined uh, by a reporter, senior reporter, Yulisa Njamela, who's uh, there for us. And certainly, uh, Yulisa, you might have spotted uh, some uh, people of interest uh, at the time that you were uh, looking at into what's going on there. We've all been keenly anticipating uh, some sort of announcement. We've heard that the DA will hold some sort of uh, media statement. But at the moment, what do we have? What are we hearing? I mean, really, we're all kind of keen to know uh, how these parties will agree and what they will agree on. Well, good afternoon, Flo, and thank you. You know, we absolutely have nothing, I can tell you that much, because they make it clear that they are not interested in speaking to the media, and one would understand, because nothing is tangible that has come out. But we were there a little earlier, and just after midday, as you rightly said, we spotted John Stian Hazen, the DA leader, of course, Federal Council Chair Helen Zile, UDM's Holomisa, Bantu General Bantu Holomisa, the leader of the ACDP, Mdadeo, Kenneth Mesh. Uh, those are the leaders, and of course, the Patri Patriotic Alliance's uh, leader as well, uh, Gaitin McKenzie. What we know, as a matter of fact, is that the EFF and the ANC has not been invited to mm. this to this meeting of negotiation for possible coalition, possible government coalition in these uh, three municipalities in particular, which is Nelson Mandela Bay uh, in. Swane and Johannesburg. Now, the invite was sent through by the Freedom Front Plus leader, Peter Mulder, as you said earlier on, Flo. And Peter Mulder, throughout uh, the election period, has been very clear that they are not interested, in fact, in working with the EFF or the ANC. The other leader that I seemingly left out of the list of the leaders that we saw earlier is Herman Mashaba of Action SA. Herman Mashaba as well has been very firm and clear, as you know, Flo, that they're not keen on working with the with the ANC. We haven't been party to a whole lot of information except for the bits and pieces that we get. What we got a bigger hint, though, last weekend, this past weekend, when Julius, lead, Julius Malima, the leader of the EFF, said they had put it on the table for Action SA to say, as the EFF, we would like to govern in Swane, and you as Action SA take over Johannesburg, and the ANC continues yeah. governing in Eguruleni Mashaba, rightly, outrightly rejected that because like the, the Freedom Front Plus leader Mulder, he's been very clear. They are not interested in working with the ANC. So as we know, for, as a matter of fact, uh, Flo, we know these leaders are closed behind doors. They're discussing matters. We will know perhaps tomorrow, uh, and except for the information that we get in dribs and drabs from sources and people who in the know-how, what Tomorrow, the DA leader, alongside 
Mel and Zille will be briefing the media. And we're likely going to get more information there, at least something that's much clearer. All right. That's our senior uh, reporter there, Yuli Sanjamel. All right. We'll certainly catch up with you uh, later on or tomorrow, in fact, uh, to hear what the latest is then. And certainly looks like it's going to be quite a tricky one uh, for the EFF at this time, as we've heard uh, the uh, Action SA saying they will not uh, have talks uh, with uh, the EFF, as well as them not being invited to the current uh, conversations that are taking place regarding uh, coalitions. We'll certainly give you uh, the latest on that as we receive it. For